A blend of the old, a blend of the new, and a blend of what the absolute hell were they thinking. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Batman and Harley Quinn. Now, I was interested in this one because this was written and produced by Bruce Timm. And Bruce Timm, as you know, is one of the godfathers of the Batman animated series and a behind the scenes godfather for the DC animated universe, at least for some things. He more so does the one-off. He hasn't really done anything that was part of the universe that everyone said was so important. This film, I'm kind of perplexed because there's parts that I really like about it. I like the humor most times. I love the animation style obviously because it's literally just the animated series being brought over. I like some of the maturity of it. For instance, there's a lot of elements of this that you can very, very well see that were carried over into the Harley Quinn TV show, which is very good. If you've never watched it, I would very much suggest it. It's very, very funny, and very well written. But there's also a lot and a lot of dumb juvenile shit in this movie. There is a... Oh, cock. And I guess I should point that out. I've tried to make the room look a little more interesting, even though I think I've made it look like a 17-year-old's uh, weird dream, but I don't know. There's a scene where Batman, Nightwing, and Harley Quinn are in the car, and it's just a fart joke. It's just a consecutive fart joke for a whole two minutes. It's probably one of the worst parts of the movie. However, right afterwards, they go to a bar that's full of a lot of low-level but iconic-looking goons from the animated series, and they go in to have this kind of party thing, which is oddly reminiscent of the Adam West show, and then they have a fight with all of them, and Batman has a really badass scene. This constant jump from different mediums is apparent throughout the whole film. Harley Quinn in particular. She goes from being a badass chick to wanting to get down with Nightwing, to farting in the car, to giving Poison Ivy the goo-goo eyes. It was particularly at the end, her relationship with Ivy, that is very, very much, again, reminiscent of the television show that would come afterwards. I like the animation style. I'm not a big fan of a lot of the jokes, but there's other jokes that I am a fan of. The writing in this is a little odd, it, it's not exactly the most interesting of stories. Poison Ivy and not Swamp Thing Dimension Dude trying to turn everyone into a plant. That joke, as funny as it is, does get a little bit dry, but they don't push it enough that it turns terrible by the end. I remember people ripping on this absolutely tearing it apart. And yes, it doesn't have the seriousness of the, the animated universe films. This is just a one-off. It is a odd combination of the animated series, the 60s show with Adam West's humor, and a little bit of more up-to-date but slightly juvenile humor. I can't say that I don't like it though, because as I said, I see the Harley Quinn show in here. Even though I don't even know if anyone here in this production had anything to do with that show, but I can see it. It's there. So I'm not going to dissuade from what I think that is actually not too bad. So in the end, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 7, but that's not a bad 3 out of 7. I know I'll never watch this again, but I wasn't upset with it. I was expecting like a one or something, but no, it's not bad. I would say it's far more entertaining than a few of the other ones I've watched, especially Reign of Superman. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, there was a weird internet outage for the last few days, and I didn't have any motivation to do anything because I couldn't even look up any of the clips or anything. So anyways, that's all from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.